Hi guys, it's me Sarah and as you can see I'm sitting in my new apartment which I'm really excited about but I'm not going to show you guys any more of it right now because I just moved in so it looks pretty bad right now and I'm not done organizing everything but once I am I will be sure to make a video about my cute new place. As you can see I'm not wearing any makeup because I'm going to do a skincare routine video for you guys. A lot of people have requested this. Okay guys, so when I start off my skincare routine, it's kind of weird and sporadic. Like it just depends on the day or like what I want to put on my face. But there's a lot of different things that go into it. I'm staring at the pile of things right now. There's quite a bit. So here we go. After I wash my face like I just did, um, if I'm waking up in the morning. So I start off by using this vitamin C serum. And the reason I use this one is because vitamin C and hyaluronic acid, which are both in this serum, are really good for dark spots and tightening up your skin, making it look younger and more natural. And so I take about like a dime size and I just put it all over my face. And then I take this Derma E Anti-Wrinkle Vitamin A and E Treatment Oil. And I really like this one because my mom has always told me that in order to stay young and youthful looking, you need to put moisturizer or lotion around your eyes and any areas that naturally women get wrinkled. I take the oil in my hand like I did with the other one. And I just put it all over my eyes like that. I do this one at night too. And I do have to say that this kind of messes up my mascara sometimes. Like it makes my face kind of runny or my mascara kind of runny, but I use it anyway. And then I just take the rest on my hands and I put it all over my face. And then sometimes, not all the time, I use this rose hip oil. And I like this because it's also for calming your skin. So getting rid of redness, that kind of thing. I take a tiny, tiny bit of this one because I already have a lot of stuff on my face. Rub it in my hands and do the same thing. So then I'll put my makeup on. I'll put my makeup on like all over my face, do the normal makeup routine. And then um, usually when I'm done doing my makeup, I'll take my Mario Badescu Rose Spray and I'll do this over top of my makeup because you can use it as a setting spray as well as a like hydration spray. So I just do this. Wait, sorry, there's someone at my door. So I'm not gonna do my night routine for you guys, but I'll just tell you what it is. So normally about two or three times a week, especially if I've been breaking out, but even if I haven't, I do this. It's Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Mask. It's a mud mask. I get a bunch of it all over my hand, put it all over my face, do the mask, and it has charcoal in it, so it just pulls the pulls out the dirt and grime out of your pores and gets all of that and then you rinse it off and your face feels a lot nicer. If I do have really stubborn blemishes that won't go away, I normally get a astringent and this one's super cheap. I think I got this one at the 99 cent store, don't judge me. It has salicylic acid in it and I actually don't really like this one, which is funny, so don't use this one get a nicer one like if you're gonna spend the money then spend a decent amount of money on this not 99 cents this one is citrus smelling and i would never recommend buying something that isn't unscented you should always get something unscented because it's better for your skin uh, anything scented is not natural and is not good for your skin this one i don't know how well it works but i use it sometimes it seems to work so um i'm gonna use it and not waste it so what i do when i have a stubborn blemish that won't go away i just put this on a cotton ball and i just dab it on the area only let it dry soak in for a little bit and then i'll put on my moisturizer i get this one from trader joe's it's their enrich moisturizing face lotion and it has spf so you can use it during the day too for the sun um, so it's fragrance free, it's non comedogenic it's everything that you would need to not break out. I've been using this for years and it's literally the only one I use besides CeraVe. I also want to add that in 
a skincare routine, you can't just worry about your face. You need to worry about your entire body because if you really take care of your face and you want you to look young for the rest of your life or as long as you possibly can, then you need to be taking care of your body as well. I wouldn't tan and I would moisturize every single day with body lotion in the morning and at night. It's extremely important. The one that I use is this unscented um, up and up brand from Target. It was $3, it's a giant bottle. I like it because it's cheap and because it's a giant bottle and it'll last me a long time. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave them below. Give me tips for what I should do for my apartment. Uh, tell me any products that I should be using or should test out for my face. I have um, mixed skin, so it's oily, dry at the same time. So if you have any recommendations for how to keep your skin clear for a, a normal or mixed skin type, please let me know. I'm always open to suggestions. So thank you guys so much and I hope you have a great rest of your day.